Welcome everybody here to Upper Bench Winery and Creamery. Did I get that right guys? Yes. I'm here with Gavin and Shana Miller uh, at Upper Bench and uh, Gavin, you uh, can you tell us a little bit about how Upper Bench came to be? Well, Upper Bench is something we always wanted to do. Both Shana and I learned our crafts, cheese making and wine making on the bench here. And um, the to have the opportunity to actually do our own thing here has been, been fabulous. And we got that opportunity in the beginning of 2011 when we met up with our partners and, and, uh, and made the offer on this place and, and won it. And yeah, got it. Fantastic. Now, actually, I met you guys uh, May of 2013. So I'm um, thrilled to be back here again. And uh, Gavin, you're going to pour three wines for me. What's the first one we're going to start with? First one we're going to start with is Chardonnay. Now, Chardonnay is making a huge resurgence in popularity, and I, I'm tasting a Chardonnay at almost every winery that I'm visiting. That's good. Chardonnay should. I mean, Chardonnay is one of the most versatile grapes in, in the world, um, and, and it's one that grows particularly well in, in, on this spot here. Fantastic. Now, what's, uh, what, do you, what are some of the highlights of your Chardonnay? Well, the Chardonnay is actually 50% stainless steel ferment and 50% in, in, in brand new French oak. Um, and then the, the part that stays in the French oak is, is surly or, or, or left on its um, dead, on, on its lees, for uh, which is stirred in, and it's left there for three months. Fantastic. So, and what am I gonna? What cheese am I gonna try with the Chardonnay? Sheena? We've got we've got the Okanagan Sun Squared. We like to say that the Okanagan Sun Squared goes with everything. And it's mm. a buttery, mild, creamy cheese, and it, it really complements the Chardonnay, the oak, the toasted oak, in, in the chard and the buttery of the the sun is just. A really nice combination. Awesome. I'm not sure what I'm more excited about trying this. The wine <laughs> or the cheese? Both. Both. Together, Both. Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, Gavin and our second one that we're I'm going to try? Um, we're going to do Pinot Noir second. Perfect. I um, love a good Pinot. Yeah, the Pinot here is, is actually from, from our site and our next door neighbor's site. Um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm excited to be working with Pinot. I'm, it, it's, it's quite new to me and this is my second second attempt to it. I'm really quite pleased with it. Fantastic. And uh, Shana, what am I going to be uh, what am I going to be trying with uh, Pinot Noir? Well, you're going to be trying one of, one of my very favorite cheeses, which is our Grey Baby. It's mm. a soft, brie-like blue cheese. Blue on the outside, but the consistency of a, of, a, of a brie with a little bit of veining and the occasional piercing, if I can get pull that off. <laughs> Fantastic. And our third wine is a Merlot. It's our Merlot, yeah, which is, uh, we only released about three months ago. It's probably our best seller at the moment. It's uh, it, It's been reviewed incredibly well, and um, I, I'm enjoying drinking it. Fantastic. It goes down a little too easy. It <laughs> yes, it does. Easy. It does. And <laughs> yes. so, what am I? What are we gonna? We're gonna be trying the, the uh, King Cole. The King Cole. Yep, named after my dad. Fantastic. So and that's another blue. It is a very. It's a Stilton style blue cheese. Very, very mild. Not that acidic blue, uh, but very, very bold. Uh, big, beautiful cheese. They're actually about seven kilograms. Um, really copied from the Stilton style blue. Fantastic. Mild and creamy. Now, we're trying two blues here today, but you do a lot more than blue cheese. We do. We do a gorgeous brie, um, and we do a couple of washed rinds that we're playing with right now. We're and actually doing a, we're doing a beer wash one this week, too, oh, fantastic. For, our, for our club members. We have a wine and cheese club as well, and, and so we actually make specialty cheeses just for those club members. Wow. And we're doing a, a, a wash rind, uh, and we're washing them in beer. Scotch ale from the cannery. I know a few people that'll like yeah. that one. <laughs> I'm one of them. Yeah. Um, now, actually, one of the cheeses that we were, would have had, um, especially with the Chardonnay, I think, correct? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Is your upper bench gold? Your upper bench gold, yeah. but you can't keep it in stock. It's a it's a it's a good seller. It's it's very popular. The restaurants, uh, the chefs really like working with that. It, it goes on a cheese plate as well. It uh, cooks really well. It really melts really beautifully. So I think that uh, it's hard to keep that one in stock. Fantastic. So I think the the lesson to learn here is. People need to get their butt to upper bench and actually uh, try the wines, buy the wines, and buy some cheese. Yes. yes. Awesome. Okay, now it's time for me to taste. Yay, okay. Taste. So now is the most exciting time for me. So, Gavin and Shana, are you ready for me to? Are you ready for We're me ready. to taste? We're looking forward to it. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Chardonnay, which I'm really enjoying. Um, BC's take on Chardonnay and the, and the stainless steel on the oak. It's not that that huge, big California butter. That you know that we're used to, and I'm gonna pair that with the Okanagan Sun. Mmm, soft, creamy. That's a really good pairing. I know you like the gold with this, but I'm really liking the sun. Okay, so now I'm gonna have the Pinot Noir, which is, as you've heard me say many times, it's one of my favorites. Light bodied. 
fruity. Yeah. Delicious on the palate. And that pairs with the Grey Baby. Mm. That little hint of blue, but with that creaminess. Oh my God, I'm going to gain 10 pounds just today. <laughs> and last but not least, I'm going with the Merlot. Only three months since you bottled it, and uh, it's selling fast. Mmm. Yeah, I'm picking up a bottle of this before I leave. <laughs> That's delicious. And with the Merlot, I'm going with the King Cole, the Stilton Blue. Mmm. Okay, I want to stuff the King Cole in a date yeah. and then have a glass of um, yeah. Merlot with it. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Come down to Upper Bench Wine, Winery and Creamery. Buy some wines, buy some cheese. You will thank me for discovering this place. Cheers. Say bye, guys. Bye. bye.